Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I will discuss couple of numericals based on hydraulic lift. Now, what is hydraulic lift? The use of pressurized liquids to do useful work is a technology known as hydraulics. So, this hydraulic lift is part of what is known as hydraulics, which is a very important branch of engineering. So, in hydraulics, what happens? We use pressurized liquids to do useful work. One of important application of Pascal's law is hydraulic lift. The arrangement shown, this is example of hydraulic lift. So, you have two pistons separated by a space filled with liquid. A piston of small cross section cross sectional area A1 is used to exert a force. So, this is your input force and the, because of this force pressure increases and that pressure excess pressure will be F1 by A1 and that pressure is transmitted throughout without any loss. So, because of that pressure, a force F2 acts at larger piston and F2 will be equal to P into area of cross section of larger piston is A2. So, this piston is capable of supporting a large force that is large weight of say car or truck placed on this platform and if you put value of P then F2 is equal to F1 into A2 by A1. So, by changing area a platform that is A2 or by increasing A2 one can easily increase applied force or output force on platform. Applied force has increased by a factor A2 by A1 and this factor is the mechanical advantage of the device. First question for the car lift shown in the figure the pistons on the left and right have areas area of cross section is given the car and the right piston have total weight of 15,000 Newton. What force must be applied on the left piston if it has negligible weight and what pressure will produce this force? So, let us directly use formula F1 by A1 is equal to F2 by A2. So, F1 is equal to A1 by A2 into F2. Put numerical values. A1 is 25 centimeter square. A2 is 750 centimeter square. And F2 is 15,000 Newton. As A1, A2 both is in centimeter square, that's why I have not change the unit because you are interested in ratio. So, F1 is equal to 500 Newton and as far as pressure is concerned it is F1 by A1 equal to 500 by now in this we will take area in meter square so 25 into 10 power minus 4 equal to 2 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal or approximately 2 atmosphere. This question, the area of car lift pistons shown in figure are A1 and A2 is given. The car and right piston have total weight 10 power 4 Newton while the left piston has a negligible weight and is at height h equal to 10 meter with respect to right one. The apparatus is filled with oil of density 800 kg per meter cube. What is the value of force F1 needed to keep the system in equilibrium? Now, this is a bit different. This question is, I mean, you cannot directly use formula. 
So let us use the fact. Now as the system is in equilibrium, so liquid is in static equilibrium, so pressure at these two points must be same. Now how much is pressure at this point? To find pressure at this point, start from this open end. Suppose atmospheric pressure is P0. So if I say this is point 1, this one is point 2, then pressure at point 1 will be equal to atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to applied force F1 A1 plus pressure due to height of oil rho G H and as far as P2 is concerned you have atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to weight of piston plus car F2 by A2 and there is no liquid column above that these two pressure should be equal at equilibrium so P0 plus F1 by A1 plus rho G H is equal to P0 plus F2 by A2 P0 will cancel out so F1 by A1 is equal to F2 by A2 minus rho G H so how much is F1 equal to F2 by A2 minus rho G H into A1 now put numerical values F2 is 10 to the power 4 so I am writing it here F1 is equal to 10 to the power 4 divided by A2 is 500 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square minus rho is 800 let us take G to be 10 H is also 10 meter into A1 is 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 so simplify to get desired unknown next question the 70 kg student in figure balances a 1200 kg elephant on the hydraulic lift what is diameter of the piston the student is standing on so let us use formula straight away f1 by a1 is equal to f2 by a2 this i am taking as 1 this is this corresponds to f2 and a2 now f1 is weight of that student 70 kg so 70 into g and a1 is pi into we need to find diameter so pi d1 square by 4 is equal to f2 is 1200 into g divided by pi diameter of output piston is 2 meters so 2 square by 4 will cancel out g also will cancel out so 70 by d1 square is equal to 1200 by 4 so d1 is equal to 4 into 70 by d1 square 4 into 70 by 1200 simplify so d1 is equal to under root 7 by 30 meter next two syringes of different cross sections filled with water are connected with tightly fitted rubber tube filled with water diameters of the smaller piston and larger piston are 1 cm and 3 cm respectively Part A, find force exerted on larger piston when a force of 10 Newton is applied to smaller piston. So these two syringes are connected with help of rubber tube filled with water. So we can use concept of hydraulic lever or hydraulic lift. So using formula straight away, F2 will be equal to A2 by A1 into F1 substitute 
numerical values pi into a2 that is pi into diameter is 3 centimeters so 3 by 2 into 10 power minus 2 whole square divided by pi 1 by 2 into 10 power minus 2 whole square into f1 is 10 newton so this will also cancel out 2 will cancel out so it is 9 by 1 that is 90 newton f2 will be 90 newton and part b if smaller piston is pushed in through 6 centimeter how much does the larger piston move so that part also i have discussed as water is incompressible so volume remains unchanged so area of cross section of one side or input side a1 and displacement of piston on that side that is l1 must be equal to a2 into l2 so l2 is equal to a1 by a2 into l1 put numerical values a1 is pi into 1 by 2 into 10 power minus 2 whole square a2 is pi into 3 by 2 into 10 power minus 2 whole square into l1 is 6 centimeter so this will cancel out so this comes out to be 0 0.67 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter question in a car lift compressed air exerts a force f1 on a small piston having a radius 5 centimeter this pressure is transmitted to second piston of radius 15 centimeter as shown in this figure if the mass of car to be lifted is 1350 kg calculate f1 and what is pressure necessary to accomplish this task so f1 by straight away we can use formula f1 by a1 is equal to f2 by a2 so f1 is equal to a1 by a2 into f2 a1 is pi into r square r is 5 centimeter so this much meter a2 is pi into 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square into f2 is 1350 into g g is 9.8 pi will cancel out simplify this expression this is 1470 newton or you can say approximately 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton now associated pressure f1 by a1 will be equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 divided by a1 is pi into 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square simplify this is 1.9 into 10 to the power 5 pascal so approximately 2 atmosphere 